everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon with me, Rock Paper Mario, and we're doing Dark Passage again. Well, not again, this is like the first time we've done it, I don't know what I'm talking about, don't listen to me. The atmosphere here is cool, like I love the whole kind of purple nighttime kind of atmosphere. And actually, I think, do they do that in this game? Like, are they... what the hell is that? It's like a guy with a big head. Oh, that's one of those dogs! That's, they're the enemies that I was telling you about that are that are annoying. It's like that, there are these dogs that are re- like, and if I remember correctly now, I think they're like the same enemies I'm thinking of. It's re- like, it's really hard to avoid them sometimes. I'm going for it. There we go. Like, they're like these little dingo things. I don't know what you- how you describe them. Dingoes, maybe, is how I describe them. They have a kind of a ding- I think there's a dingo in Home and Away at the moment. Like, I think that's what it is. I think, like, when it's dark... Or no, when it's light, they're small, and when it... When it- yeah, that's what it is. That's the gimmick. Okay, I was trying to remember. Um, these, like, I'll, I'll, like, demonstrate them above. Um, because that's what the- f that's what those stupid April Fools guys do in this level. Well, what are you? What's your name? Cassia. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now yeah, that's like you're thinking. Yeah, now now you're thinking. Blame the fools. See, look, do you see that scary the dog? Oh no, that's one of those. No, that's one of those stupid devils. Those devils are annoying as well. They're like these devils that shoot arrows at you. Okay, now flame the fool. See, look, and he turns it all bright, and then the dog can't do a thing to you. But those devils are annoying as well. I knew there was a reason I remembered this level. Like, when I saw Dark Passage, because the way, like, usually, I don't actually, can't actually remember what the levels are. Do you mind? Okay. Hey, excuse me, you're a small dingo. You can't be hitting me. But, um... Now, Joe, the way usually I can't remember what the levels are called. Excuse me? You're just a stupid little turtle. Even though I like turtles. I'm going back getting a little mushroom for myself. Yeah, get on with me. You got like a whole grove of mushrooms jumping around here. They're so cute, I kind of don't, almost don't like killing them, but needs must at the end of the day. Okay. What do I go for? Do I go for the devil? Stupid, stupid dog, stupid dog! Oh my god! Don't, don't like lure him out of that light because he'll turn into a big scary monster. Like it's a cool concept. I love it. Look at them! Oh my god, they're terrifying. Azizi, 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 Azizi. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, you're welcome. I actually do you remember like in, in actually yonks ago, like when I was in still in Magic Crafters. Like I was talking about doing um Now that was slick. See sometimes I can be slick, sometimes sometimes I can be cool. It's just they're terrifying. They look like They look like I dunno, like uh You how dare you? Stupid fire breeding turtle you. Don't you be shooting me. Jesus, do you mind? Oh my god, like what? Oh, stupid devil, you. Okay, timing time. It's like, look, they're terrifying as well. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dying. Do you remember, like, all the way back in Magic Crafters, I was like, oh, um. All the way back in Magic Crafters, I was like, oh, the, um, oh, um, I'm, I, I'm deciding whether I want to watch, um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or Kinsey or whatever, and I ended up watching, um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spot. See, look, they still get a hit off. That's the annoying thing. And then the devil is over there waiting to hit me. Is it 
after you. Yeah, look, two devils. These two devil idiots. Well, you're not gonna hit me this time. Oh, a shelter. Just what I needed. How many lives do I have? Two? Two lives left? I think I'll save one for next Christmas. Bakari? Bahari? You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. <laughs> oh, look at us being all slanty ways. Goodbye, Bran Flakes. What a nice cereal box. Okay, that's just like, um... Wait a second, there's like some... This is one of those levels that has a weird secret. Yes! Aha! You can't fool me. Aha! Yeah, okay. I, I knew there was like some... Catch to this level. There's like a weird, like, secret area. Devils! Oh my god, those devil enemies. How dare you! No, you're not gonna get me! No, you're not gonna get me! No, you're not gonna get me! Did, is the other dog dead as well? Those, like, their mouths look like- it's like when they- when the dogs turn all big and scary, they're like these- they have, like, jabberwocky mouths. See, they still get the hit with these stupid turtles. And when these guys get big- oh, well, we have a little mushroom grow. Hello, mushrooms. Hello, Muta. I've got to stop saying that. It's just like, I'm kind of funny. How many gems are there in this place? Anyway, I suppose I should look at that. 500? I say we're already halfway there. There's like another secret area down there. Hmm, wait a second. And that's the beginning, and the end of Main Street is just the beginning again, as I keep saying. It's just, it's such a sayable line, that whole, like, the end of Main Street is just the beginning of it. Get that gem, and we're ready for all these dogs here. Oh, <laughs> they are just like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, yeah, you may look tiny, and like, it's like I'm in Earthworm Gym. It's like, it's like Peter, oh my god. And they look like somebody of Godzilla or something. They look like somebody of Godzilla or something. It's like, they ain't messing around. These, like, scary guys. Oh, well, you got the hit off again, you ass. I am in serious doubt as to where all the rest. These gems are. Jeez. The devil! Those devils are the worst, because they'll hit you from far. At least you can see the other enemies when they're hitting you. Those devil guys, it's just like they'll hit you from anywhere in the world, anywhere they please. But yeah, I ended up, like yesterday, I ended up watching um, Kinsey, finally. Like, that's another film I've been meaning to watch for years. And it was really good, like, I really enjoyed it. Laura Linney was fantastic in it. Liam Neeson was really good in it, but then he's really good in everything. The weirdest film I've ever seen Liam Neeson in is this film that I saw where Liam Neeson was, like, um... Where Liam Neeson was this deaf and dumb hobo. Um... This deaf and dumb hobo. And he was being accused of murder. And the solicitor that took on his case was Cher. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. Oh, so you let us get trapped in Crystal? You let us get trapped in Billy Crystal? Get some more Skull Tullers? I am a great and powerful fire demon! Oh, I got him that time. <laughs> Maybe I should just channel Billy Crystal and then I'll be able to kill them. I am a great and powerful f Well, actually, they got the huh? But yeah, Cher is his lawyer. It's actually really good. Well, I like Cher in films anyway. It's like, have, has, have any of you guys seen, um, that film Moonstruck? It's like a romantic comedy. This is such a good film. I love it. It has Cher in it and Vincent Gardinia and, um... Who else? Um, Olympia Dukakis and Nicolas Cage. It's so good. Like, it's such- it's so funny and charming. It's just such a lovely film. It really is. I totally recommend it to anybody. 
So that's Moonstruck. That's like your homework for, for today, everybody, is going to do that. Man, there's a fuck ton of dragons in this world. They're everywhere. Look, here's another one. Oh, Bassy, and they're getting all these African Thank names. you for releasing me. Oh, big boy. Like, look, we said, like, we, like, how many dragons are in here? That's all of them now, five? We still have 104 gems to get. I have no idea where all of those are going to come from. Can we make this jump? Oh, we can, we can, we can. I think I can. Look at all this mess in here. We've got those devils in here. Oh, you can't charge them? Who'd have thought that the devil wouldn't like fire? I didn't mean to do that game. I suppose I might as well do this now. Oh yeah, and see that, like, um... That firework will go and blow up that chest over there. Okay, I've got to be careful. Maybe I can do death from above. Death from above! You missed! 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 Yeah! I'm, I'm, do I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Woo! That's, that's the, the, the rush! The rush! The rush! Woo! And you didn't get me with the fire either, you stupid turtle! Man, that was cool! That was exhilarating, is what that was. I didn't take a single hit from all those guys. See? Think you're so smart now, you stupid devil guys. But then I was telling my aunt about that film, because I had never heard of it in my life. Like, this film where Liam Neeson and, and, and Cher, um, where she's his lawyer. And she was like, who casted that? Like, it was so funny because she was so perplexed. She was like, wait a second, the only reason, like, one, like Liam Neeson's main, um... She was like, Liam Neeson's main talents are being good-looking and having, like, a really good voice or whatever. Like, a really cool speaking voice. And she was like, so who in their right mind cast him as a scruffy down-and-out hobo who couldn't talk? And I was like, yeah, it's a bit mad, all right. And she was like, and who said Cher would be in, like, a league? Because that's what it was. It was like, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, he ate me. He ate me. See, like the Jabberwocky. I'm just going to get out of there. Don't tell me that. Fuck. I'm just going, like, I don't know you. I don't know you. I just want to get all the gems, that's all. Just let me get all of the gems, and I'll be happy. And then you can stay over there, you Godzilla freakazoid. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. See, that level was hard. I like that level. That level was hard, but it was cha- Like, it was hard and it was a challenge, but it was still really fun. Like, the atmosphere is just cool, I love it. Good old dark passage, eh? I don't know where we're going to go next. Lofty Castle? What are the other ones? There's Lofty Castle and there's um, Haunted something. Haunty Halls Galaxy? Chocolate... Haunted Chocolate or whatever. What's the name of that level in flipping Kirby's Epic Yarn? Haunt chocolate Manor. It was like Haunted Chocolate Beetle Breakfast Beetle Orange Beetle. Like, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Okay, so where's Loft... What level is in here? Is there even a level in here? Okay, so that's Lofty Castle. I, I kind of, like, feel like doing the Haunted Tower first. I don't know. I don't know why, but I do. This is not the way to go to the Haunted Tower, is it? You go to the Haunted Tower the other way. <laughs> um, wait a second. What, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I'm just gonna skip all you clowns. I don't have time for you. Did that enemy just give me a butterfly? The enemies aren't supposed to give me butterflies, you stupid warthog. The enemies are supposed to give me the little pearl thing so I can... Oh look, you gave me an extra life, thank you. That's what I wanted. Just what I always wanted. Okay, let's scan get started here in... is it Haunted Tower? Haunted Homes? What's it called? Haunted Towers. Okay. Oh, I remember this level. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Um, thanks a million for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Don't quit the game when you didn't save. Thanks a million for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Spire Dragon. Bye now.